We're talking today with Siona Mining, who is an emerging leader in the supply of lithium for North America's electrification. We have with us Dougal Elder, who is the finance manager for the company. It's got an ASX code of SYA and a market cap of around $1.8 billion. Dougal, thanks for your time. Thanks, Tim. Now, when we're talking lithium, uh, investors always have an opinion on the lithium price. And obviously, uh, in regards to the global macro situation recently, we've seen a, a quite a serious pullback in the lithium price. What, what's your view on the lithium price? Yeah, it's an interesting question, Tim. And I think it's you know something that uh, a lot of the market is very interested in. Um, I think probably what we saw over the last 18 months or so was a bit of an overshoot to the upside. Um, so the fact that the price has corrected a little bit is probably not really a surprise. Uh, what's driven that, there's probably a number of factors impacting it, but uh, a lot of the commentary from the market experts seems to be there's a, um, the price is being driven by lower domestic prices in China. And that's um, you know, recognisable because the uh, export pricing is, hasn't fallen as far from versus the peak. So I think you know, that's something to point to. Uh, the other interesting point to, fact to uh, point to is that uh, there's a bit of a floor price emerging in the CME futures price, um, which hopefully gives investors hope that the prices won't fall too much further. Uh, Dougal, so can we get a, an operational update on your North American lithium project? Um, now that production's kind of ramping up, uh, you're ramping up commercial production in early uh, second half of 2023. Um, and also we note that the project did produce 6% spodumene concentrate last quarter. Was that, an expected, was that expected for an early production or was that a, above expectations? Yeah, absolutely. So NAL kicked off the start of production in March, um, so about a month ago. Uh, we produced around 3,500 tonnes to the end of March, so uh, well ahead of our internal budget. Uh, in March, NAL produced 6% over 6% concentrate um, uh, over a number of days during that month. And that was really around demonstrating that NAL is capable of that 6% standard. Uh, but what we are going to pursue is a 5.4% grade product to produce and sell. And that's really around generating the best uh, margins for the joint venture, where the additional tonnes that we can produce uh, by lowering the grade offsets the, the lower price. So um, we think that that's in the best interest of the joint venture to drive for those additional margins. In terms of the ramp profile, it's a very aggressive ramp. Um, we think that NAL will be at the nameplate capacity of around 226,000 tonnes run rate by October of this year. Uh, to the end of April, we're ahead of budget for the cumulative two months. So everything's on track so far uh, and we look forward to uh, providing a further update at the end of June. Uh, Dougal, now you, you touched on that 5.4% uh, uh, spodumene concentrate, but you, your contract with uh, Piedmont Lithium has a reference cap price of $900 a tonne for 6% spodumene uh, concentrate. So how does that discounted concentrate a grade effect uh, contract pricing? Yeah, that's right. So the NAL um, will target to produce and sell 5.4% uh, grade product. Uh, the, the existing offtake agreement with Piedmont um, and likely any future additional offtake agreements that we're in the process of finalising uh, will be based on an SC6 standard. So there'll be a quality adjustment for any grade lower than that. Um, but obviously the only reason um, we would do that is that there is an additional margin benefit to the joint venture for selling at a lower grade. So uh, NAL would receive a lower price than the SC6 standard equivalent, uh, but the t extra tonnage benefit that we get, a, get for producing at a lower grade far outweighs uh, the, the price discount that we get. So all in all, a great outcome for NAL. Now, Dougal, you previously mentioned that the PFS to complete the already partially built lithium carbon carbonate refinery is due soon. Um, how will this refinery change the nature of your business and which market is the refined lithium product likely to be sold into? That's right. So when Sayona and Piedmont purchased North American lithium from uh, Investment Quebec, the government of Quebec in, in 2021, uh, they acquired a, a plant that had a partially constructed lithium carbonate facility already uh, on site. Uh, we are undertaking a process to uh, complete a feasibility study into the completion of that partially constructed plant. Uh, that's currently going through internal management and board reviews at present and will be released to the market very soon. Uh, but that provides a, uh, a very unique opportunity to both Sayona and Piedmont, as well as the government of Quebec, uh, to be the first and only integrated plant in North America to produce from mine to concentrate to downstream chemicals, 
all within the same site for delivery into the US. So a very unique um, opportunity presents itself given that that plant is already partially constructed and we would anticipate a very low capital cost to complete that construction versus a greenfield site. Dougal, you recently had a significant upgrade with Moblin um, where you have a 60% JV with the Quebec government, that's in a vehicle called SOCHEM. Um, what are your expectations around the aggressive build out? That's right, so we've just recently released a uh, mineral resource upgrade for the Mobiland project, uh, 51 million tonnes at 1.31%. And I think underlying that is our understanding that Mobiland is a very remarkable deposit. It's high grade, it's low strip, it's a very flat, uh, singular tabular ore body. So very, very exciting. And the resource that we just recently released was only based off 37,000 metres of drilling last year. We plan to more than double that this year. Uh, which we expect to be, be completed by the end of July. So very significant opportunity to build out the Mobiland ore body. And I think that sets uh, within the broader Northern Hub context, uh, where we have the Troilus claims um, to the east of Mobiland, which is a thousand square kilometres of unexplored land um, that is un completely unexplored for lithium. And we also have the Lac Albert prospect in the west of Mobiland. So significant regional opportunity to further build out uh, the Northern Hub um, to become a leading supplier of lithium and lithium products. Given the potential for a even larger resource at Moblin, which you spoke about and nearby Troilus, um, which you recently acquired, can you talk to a potential timetable time for potential lithium hydroxide production and what are Sayana's ultimate uh, aspirations for that Northern Hub? That's right. So we, we're currently undertaking a 60,000 metre drill program at Moblin today. Uh, we're about 20% of the way through that program as at the end of March. So we think well, that will be wrapped up um, by the end of July of this year with a, a further mineral resource upgrade to come following that. Um, in terms of uh, the broader scene, um, obviously uh, the Troilus ground that we acquired last year from Troilus Corporation uh, provides a regional opportunity for us to further grow uh, that hub and there's uh, pegmatites on the east of the Mobile property uh, which are likely to extend through into the Troilus ground. So significant opportunity there for us to further grow the resource base uh, in, in the northern hub. In terms of uh, timelines, uh, we've set an ambition to have 100,000 tonnes of lithium hydroxide production from the Northern Hub by 2030. So very aggressive timeline. Uh, to work back to that, we would need to be producing spodumene concentrate from the Northern Hub by around June of 2027. So I think that talks to the multiple work streams that we're undertaking in parallel. We've got feasibility studies ongoing for the Moblin project. Uh, we've got 60,000 metre drill program underway, environmental studies are progressing uh, and we really look forward to the definitive feasibility study by the end of this year which will then hopefully kick off uh, the construction and final permitting stages uh, for that project. So a very exciting opportunity not only for Sayona but also the Government of Quebec. And, and just on the Government of Quebec, uh, can you talk to um, their support for vertical integration in the Northern Hub given there are 40% JV partner? That's right. The government's strategy is actually provincial wide, is province wide. Uh, so, Sayana has aligned ourselves to the government's strategy, which is about creating a vertically integrated battery metal supply chain within the province of Quebec, from mine through to concentrate through to downstream refining. Uh, Sayona is targeting that in both of our hubs, both at the Abitibi bee hub, cornerstone by NAL, uh, supported by the Ortier deposit and in the future also Tanzam and uh, the Valley Lithium project, which we're owning into. And in the Northern Hub, we've got Mobilan, uh, which cornerstones the Northern Hub, supported by the Troilus Claims and Lac Albert. So um, hub and spoke model at both hubs, vertical integration aligned with the government's strategy. Uh, and we think that's going to be a winning, um, a winning combination um, as North America rapidly uh, pursues the development of critical minerals. Dougal Elder, thanks for your time. Thanks for having us, Tim.